I didn't anticipate you'd have this much stuff. Oh. If I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I should have. I should have warned you. Well, yeah, yeah. I know. I mean, I knew you had games. I didn't realise there was going to be this many and this this many good games as well because you've got the old vintage stuff too, which goes pretty well. Yeah. Hello, mate. Hey, mate. How are you? How are you? Good to see you. Hey, Courtney. That's yours here. Yeah, that's Courtney, oh, Courtney, that's Johnny. Yeah. Appreciate you getting me along, mate. No worries at all. Geez, this looks incredible. Yeah, that's just what I pulled out of the cupboards and yep. got boxes here, boxes there. Wow. Is that yours? Yeah, yeah. As in keeping yours? Don't know. <laughs> Jeez, look at that. Is that... Oh, wow. Is it actually that colourway too? Jeez. So Might have to save negotiations on that for the end. Have a look at these, Courtney. If you don't, just get close on these. Nintendo 64 games, Wave Rider, Duke Nukem. Um, Cool Borders, I haven't heard of that one. G Police, nice. You just have to dig Jeez, through, it really. It goes everywhere, doesn't it? So you got an Xbox, PS2, a couple more consoles underneath there, maybe? What have we got here? Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. Do you know if it works? I don't know. Not no. sure. And, oh, you got two of them as well? Yeah, there's a few in there. Yeah, nice. Make some room, I'll throw them up here. What is that? Real Arcade Pro. Stick type real controller. I haven't seen one of them. Oh, that's a PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen one before until I, I picked that up at Nambour. Is there anything that's like, um, like crazy rare that you're aware of in here? On that, here? Yeah. Not really, like you got... Your bread and butter stuff? Look, no, I, to be honest with you, I haven't picked for it. I haven't even pulled the good stuff. As you can see, it's all mixed. Good, yeah, it is. Good, a, bad, you know a, what I mean? Absolutely, so it's a complete mixed bag. It, it's basically just purchased, put in boxes. Yeah, right. It's, so it's not even thoroughly looked into no, once no, it's been no, bought. No, no, So it's a fresh set of unallocated. Basically. Wow. Yeah, I mean, from what I'm seeing, to be honest with you, there's nothing that I want to pass on. I kind of just want to grab everything. Yep. So it's going to be more of like a working out a big bulk deal for us, I reckon. Yeah. They just stack so well. So you yeah. get some mixed. Okay. Look at this. Off in the vampire slayer. <laughs> Sorry. All the action figurines should be brand new. It's yeah. just the, the boxes. Yeah. Is that still taped? Is That's it? still taped. I don't even want to open that up. That's cool. And it's got so, its, um, if you see yeah. it here, Courtney. It's actually got its certificate of authenticity on the box. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's number 171 of 2000. So they're like collector's ones. What do we got here? Spider Man 3, Sandman Bust. Quick look at this. Authenticity, we've got a number 1476 of 5000. But again, it's. It's all taped up and sealed, so we'll leave that there. But the authenticity slip is epic. Down here. This looks interesting. Frazetta's Sea Witch. I don't even know who that is. Do you? No. <laughs> you just know it's good though, right? Yeah. You look at it like that, like some old vintage. Oh, look at this on the back. Uh, what else we got? This is a big box of goodies in here. Twilight. I don't know what you're going to pull out in there. You don't even know. <laughs> it's, you don't even know. See, I'm not into this sort of stuff. But you, you are because you know. Well, <laughs> it's good, isn't it, though? It's, it's you know, to it's, a collector. You know what? I think you and I are very similar in that regard because it's, I know it's good as well, but I yeah. have no interest in it. Yes. I just know that somebody else out there is interested in it. Like this, for instance, Spawn. These little pieces, I know, go for a lot of money just on their own. Yep. Um, so if you've got the original box, you've got the pieces in there for this character, that inflates the value of that item. Um, uh, what's this one? We've got a big Indiana Jones here. Indiana Jones collectible mini bust. I'm not even going to pull that out, but that's basically what it is. It's that, mm. that figurine right there. And I think it's what's incredible is that you've just got original packaging for all of this. Mm. You know, they're not. I thought they were going to be basically loose figures. No. But you've no. got the box and everything. Astonishing, Marvel Universe Danger. 
Oh, that one's another one out of 2,500, number 861. Diamond Select Toys. This looks cool. Morbius. Morbius Mini Bust. 2004 Marvel characters. Uh, got some daubs. Another mini bus down here. Who's this? Oh, that's another Buffy. That's cool. Buffy toys would be good. Nice. Hercules. Yeah, nice. And is this more on oh, no, a Battlestar Galactica? Battlestar Galactica. Samuel Anders. <laughs> More Edward. Here's some more Buffy. You could almost do this as a bundle, mm. if not individual. I mean, they're the same character. Darla. I think that's another one, I think. I think we've oh, seen yeah, one that, of them. That was you? in there. Oh, you probably got a second one of that. Yeah. And then that one as well, that was in there. Um, yeah, nice. Is this a... Number 420 out of 1,000, I think, on that one. Awesome. So that's it for the action figures, hey? Uh, yeah, I think, oh, you probably find yeah. some more, maybe. Eventually. You, you wouldn't know. No, I hear you. <laughs> you wouldn't. I hear you. You could dig in here for a couple of days, I reckon. Um, I think there was about 142, uh, 342, sorry. 342, yeah, yeah. okay. That's just roughly. Well, I'll be interested in all of them. Yeah. I don't know how to go about it in the sense of the deal. Throw money at me. Yeah. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> More money than being the smile, isn't it? That's it. <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I'm wanting, I'm wanting all, all. I didn't anticipate you'd have this much stuff. Oh. If I'm honest. <laughs> Fair enough. I should have. I should have warned you. Well, you, yeah. I know. I mean, I knew you had games. I didn't realise it was going to be this many and this this many good games as well. Because you've got the old vintage stuff too, which goes pretty well. Yep. What are you What are you thinking? Oh, From a. Uh, I don't know, I don't even know how to break this down, whether we do like a like look at video games collectively and then look at action figures. Probably. That'd yep. be better, wouldn't it? Yep, I think so. Um, and I mean the novelty of those is something that I wanna look at doing, but the okay. priority I think is is this, with yep. what I know and yep. what I know sells well. How many how much per unit? What do you reckon? Three bucks. Three bucks? So what are we looking at there? About a grand. About a thousand bucks. Um, yep, I'll do that. Yep. 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 Sweet. That's part of it. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. All right, cool. That was easy. So with the games, mm -hmm. with these games here on the right not included? Yep, that's right. Those ones there? They're included. They're included? Yep. Okay, so a bunch of games in there too. Yeah. All loose. What about 1200 all up? 170. Because right now at, at three a unit, 345, you're looking at about, I think it's about, it's 900 plus 135. So it's 1035 before this. Oh, yep. So if we make it twelve hundred for the lot, yep, okay, that would it's be an extra one. I think it's about one sixty-five. Yeah, okay. For that, yep, to add on. Yep, okay. So, so you'd be looking at twelve hundred for those games, all of that, and all of that, which I'd be, I'd be happy to do if you were. Yeah, go on. Yep, yep. yep. All right. So what are we up to now? Twelve hundred even. Twelve hundred even. Yep. And cool. I think we've done all the games. So all we've got left so. to discuss is uh, some consoles. consoles and some action figures. Looks like consoles, we're talking this one, this one, this one, that, this. And then you've got an Xbox under there. Throw me some numbers on what you're thinking here, my man. I don't know, throw me, what are you thinking? I'm um, not worried about that Street Fighter one. No. Um, I might have to do some research on these. Yep. Just get an evaluation on what they are. Cause I would packaging things up, maybe 25 bucks a console. Mm -hmm. So you'd be looking $100 for all that there. For the four. Did you go 150 I would... 
Go 125. Yeah, that'll do. 125? Yep. And that's for those four. Yep. Um, look, I'd probably go, based on these rough numbers, I'd probably go 25 a piece on them too, for 50 bucks. Because I'd, I'd, be, I'd be listing for 100, um, yep. shipping for 20 to 25. Yep. Um, fees of 15, so I'd be $40 out. I'd be selling it for about 60 bucks. So I'd be looking to buy for about 25. Yep. So 50 bucks, yeah? 50, yeah. So yeah. it'd be 175 yep. for the lot yep. on the consoles. Um, so that brings us up to 1375 mm -hmm. for consoles and games. I'm um, definitely interested in the action figures. Right. I'm, I'm blind on action okay. figures, as you are. Yep. I, I, when I do these private picks, I really like to just be truthful and honest. Like, this is what I'm trying to sell it for. No, yeah, 100%. This, I don't know what I'm selling it for. I, we, we could pull out, you and I could literally list this up and it could be a $500 item when yep, I get home. Yeah, 100%. Why don't you eBay that one right now? I want to know. We could eBay it, yeah. I just don't know anything, but I know that they sell well. Have you got a number? Yeah, I couldn't be bothered. Have you got a number um, that you're happy to see, see the box go for? This box here today? Yep. Oh, I don't, know. don't even know what's in there. Neither. Genuinely neither. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're both. We literally, that's what I mean. And I think you've got two boxes too. I do, yeah. So yeah, it'd be these two boxes of your, yep. of your figures. I don't know, throw me a number. What, what nah, you, you throw me, because remember, your price is going to be better than what I throw you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to hear my price points. 300? 300. I'm just thinking that's sort of fair. It's a bit dusty, a bit dirty. What does it bring us up to overall? I don't know. 13... We're up to 13... What were we up to? It was 1375. Yeah. So that's more than I thought. <laughs> more than I thought I'd be paying <laughs> in the garage today. 13750 is running me dry. You've... Um, so we'd be you'll have a lot of good stock. I would have a lot of good stock, for sure. Yeah, I'm already very happy with these consoles, the games. Um, 300 on this would bring us up to 16750. Would you call it 1650? Can we lock away on that? 16. 25 bucks. <laughs> we can, yeah. A clean 16.50? Yep. I'm happy with that? Yep. Happy days. Cool. Corny. I didn't think we'd be reversing the car in today. <laughs> All right. So pretty cool deal. I was really, really happy with that. And you were too, hey, Corny? Yeah. You thought so that good. was a good deal? Yeah. 16.50, you would have done it? Yeah, 100%. I think so. Big thank you to Johnny um, for allowing us to come over to his place. He's obviously spent a bit of, a bit of time sorting through and finding all that stuff out in the wild. Um, so for us to be able to go over to his place and just simply grab it off him was pretty incredible. Um, we haven't gone through... This has been 24 hours since we're at Johnny's place. We haven't yet gone through all of this. I, I've done some rough comps and there's some stuff, I think, that could be worth some good money around that sort of maybe $80 to $100 price point. But... There's not that many comps on eBay for these individual items, so it's going to be kind of a bit of a judgment call to see what we go ahead with the listing value. If you saw anything in the video and you know what it might be worth, let me know in the comments. Because There's going to be some time spent. Um, this is all the, the console stuff uh, that we ended up grabbing that you saw, and we need to test all of this. We need to probably give it all a little bit of a clean as well. Um, Johnny was pretty vague on, um, I guess, whether or not this stuff worked. Um, which obviously just means that he hasn't tested it, so how is he to know? Uh, which is completely fair, but I, th I still think there'll be some really good money in that stuff, whether we sell it for parts or whether we sell it um, in working order. But we will test that, so that's going to take a little bit. Um, the video games, that was obviously the large majority of the purchase, over 350 video games. There was some, some bad results that came out of it. All of these games here, just doing a bit of an assessment. Well, that one's got... Is that scratched, was it? That's scratched yeah yeah so we've just been doing a bit of a condition check and there's some heavy scratches on some of them a lot of them have got discs completely missing and um, that must be scratched that must be scratched <laughs> yeah but there's some missing discs yeah. in there as well um, so condition obviously really really important when you're doing your video games um, but yeah there was quite a few that just didn't have and that's obviously I'm not disappointed by that at all it's just part of a bulk buy when you buy everything you're gonna take the good with the bad um, over here we're, we've pulled out a few games that are worth over $15 that we're just, uh, Courtney's actually just going through and listing. So all of those games there in, on camera um, are actually worth you know, some good money between $15 plus. 
Um, these Xbox games and these Wii games, we're still to go through. And what we always do with bulk buyers is we do comp research and condition check absolutely everything first. So we're doing that now still with the Xbox and the Wii. But there'll be about 50-50 that we end up listing. And the other stuff that doesn't kind of make it to the table for $15 plus, we've just got it in this room out here, um, just in the dining room at the moment, uh, that we're going to be doing bundles of video games. So this big stack of PlayStation 2 games didn't fit the $15 price point. So they're all worth less than $15. So that's, that's probably going to be one big monster listing that we're going to put on eBay. And we're probably going to sell them off for $3 each. So the ones that are actually making us money are still in the garage and all of these games here, you know, if you were trying to cherry pick a collection, you wouldn't have bought these. Um, Corny, if you want to put the camera over all this stuff here as well, none of these are worth any money either. So we've just grouped them uh, into their consoles. So Xbox One, there were two uh, PlayStation 4 games there. So they will all be a bundled listing as well. So the beauty of um, games is that you don't need to get rid of them you can do big Nintendo DS listings just like this. So that's gonna be a good collection that we can sell for about 60 or 70 bucks. And that only just adds to the overall uh, you know, revenue that we're gonna be able to generate out of what was a pretty monster purchase at $1,650. But um, if you guys do have any bulk opportunities, bulk purchase opportunities just like this, um, this is how Courtney and I are gonna be sourcing our stock for eBay throughout 2024. So let us know through Instagram or in the YouTube comments um, and we'll be able to uh, yeah, get out to your place. We could even travel, Courtney. Yeah. It could be cool as well to go and travel and find a really awesome collection just like this. But yeah. um, big thank you to Johnny. If you enjoyed the, the private pick uh, sort of a video, we've done others in the past as well. I'm going to leave you with this one right here, which was a really, really good private pick a couple of weeks ago. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon. Well done. <laughs>